Will quantum computers kill Bitcoin? This is a topic I've been thinking about much more recently, as I am a strong believer that technology, AI, and other tools are becoming stronger and more powerful at a faster rate than ever before. And this increasing rate of change obviously has the ability to create massive disruptions, both good and bad. And one thing I'm certain of is that we will see increasing creative destruction in the coming decades. Now, my general thesis is that this will devalue nearly all assets and the prices of most consumer goods. And ultimately, most of the new wealth will be captured by Bitcoin. However, is Bitcoin subject to this creative destruction as well? Who can say that Bitcoin cannot be disrupted by something like quantum computers? It's a great question, and it's important to understand that Bitcoin actually would be disrupted by quantum computers if they existed today. For example, Satoshi's 1 to 2 million P2PK or pay to public key coins would be up for grabs by a quantum computer, as it would be possible for a quantum computer to generate private keys from the public keys. So that's a problem in of itself. Will the community be okay with giving 1 to 2 million coins? at a minimum, to the entity that first discovers a quantum computer. Secondly, it's not just those coins. Let's say technology is really accelerating at an insanely rapid pace, and tomorrow a massive breakthrough in quantum computers occurred, and now anyone can 3D print a quantum computer at their home for $100. And these quantum computers worked, and they worked incredibly fast. Let's say they could drive a private key from a public key in less than 10 seconds. Now, obviously this is a stretch and highly, highly, highly unlikely, but hang with me. In this scenario, now virtually all coins are not safe. Why? Well, today most people will say that if you're not reusing addresses and not spending directly to a public key, then quantum computers would never have the public key to derive a private key and take your coins. But if quantum computers become abundant, cheap, and fast immediately, then they effectively would have your public key the moment you broadcast your transaction, which means that someone could quickly recalculate your private key right as your transaction becomes visible in the mempool. And then they just sign a transaction to their own address and pay a significantly higher transaction fee to encourage miners to mine their transaction and not yours. So my point in saying all of this is just to show that if quantum computers are a real threat, the community will need to do something before they exist, and especially before they exist are fast and cheap. But it's also exciting to see that developers are already working on making Bitcoin quantum resistant by drafting new Bitcoin improvement proposals, BIPs. Hunter Beast from Surmount Systems, a Bitcoin initiative focused on quantum security, is the author of a BIP in progress that aims to achieve quantum resistance through a soft fork. I'll encourage all of you interested to go read the emails in the Bitcoin development mailing list yourself. I'll share a link below. And I'll also encourage you all to go read the early draft of the BIP. Note, it's obviously not built yet. It's just an early idea with no implementation as of now. But it's very important that the community stays aware of these things. If quantum computers do exist one day, Bitcoin will need to update its cryptography. And this process of updating cryptography may go on forever, a game of cat and mouse unless it's possible to somehow discover a form of unbreakable cryptography, which might just be impossible. Of course, this is not just something that Bitcoin will have to deal with. Nuclear launch codes, the internet, your bank, the New York Stock Exchange, Fidelity, deed and title records, and so many other critical systems that hold and secure wealth will be vulnerable if modern cryptography suddenly breaks. So this is important to think about, and it's also awesome to see people like Hunter Beast actually starting to draft proposals about making Bitcoin quantum resistant. Thanks for watching everyone, and see you next time.